Today in Sketchbook Express, we're going to learn how to use the Transform and the Layer tools. Let's review all of the icons. Please repeat them after me. Gallery, Add New Sketch, Information, Undo Arrow, Redo Arrow, Brush Editor, Draw Styles, Symmetry, Text, Transform, Layers. I've already selected my pen as my primary drawing tool today and picked a nice dark blue color that will show up well. My main drawing style today is going to be the circle. And today we're frequently going to use the Transform and the Layer tools. I'm going to begin by drawing two circles. These are going to be the opening on the Power Up symbol. I've got my two circles here. Those will be on one layer. I'm going to add a new layer by pressing the plus sign. And when I come back in, I'm now working on that new layer. Now my circles need to be fairly perfect. I drew a circle. It's not in the place that I want it. So now I'm going to use the transform tool. Just like last week when we were transforming text, we could pick up text, move it around, resize it, reshape it. That's exactly what I'm doing with my circle until it overlaps on the other two just the way I want. Let me make another small adjustment here. Good. Now I'm done with that particular part. So these first two circles are on one layer and the other circle is on a separate layer here. They work differently. What I need to do now is press the arrow right here. It will let me merge those two layers or put them together. Now I'm going to add another new layer drag and drop a circle. It needs to be a perfectly round circle or as perfect as I can make it. Then free transform. Now I want to take that circle, be able to resize it, reshape it, reposition it, and get it right where I want. Now notice how my circle is a little bit narrower on this side. That's not the look that I want. I want it to be the same width all the way around. I like that position. I like that placement. So I'm going to press done. I'm done with that free transform function. I'm going to come back in and merge those two layers again. So now it's all on one layer together. By the way, if I press the I button, that will let me see or not see that layer. Opacity determines the transparency or how see-through my drawing is. Now that I've done those, I'm going to come back in with my eraser and I'm going to erase the lines that I don't need on these circles. And you should begin to see the power-up symbol taking shape. This is exactly how I created it for the school logo. I used a different software, but hopefully you'll see why I selected Sketchbook Express as our primary drawing application because you can do things like this on it that you usually have to spend a lot more money on a software to have features like this. Sketchbook Express is a free application. The drawing application that I use to create the Montlou logo is called Adobe Illustrator and that's part of a software package that cost about $1,800. Next thing we're going to do is get our fill tool, our paint bucket, and pick a nice Montlou blue, a light blue, and fill that shape. Let me adjust the color settings here so you can see a little bit better what that looks like once it's filled. Now we'll resume drawing. I'm going to create a new layer by pressing the plus sign. and I can see that I have a new layer. If I want to take away the first layer, I can press the minus sign. That will delete it. I can press the I. I get an X over the I, and now that layer is no longer visible. But I want to be able to see it while I'm drawing on this layer. So again, I'm going to get my circle as my drawing tool. I'm going to get my pen back. And I want the exact same blue that I had before. So I'm using the eyedropper tool and lining it up right on that blue so that I get the exact same blue that I was drawing with before. And one circle. 
here's a second circle. You're probably thinking to yourself, I'm putting that circle right on top of my logo. It's not in the place it's supposed to be. It's going it's supposed to be going right through that opening. And I'll show you that with free transform, I can move it to where I want it to be and have it going right through that opening as we're accustomed to seeing it. So there is that part. I'm going to press free transform. That allows me to grab it, to move it around, reposition it, put it exactly like I want it, going right through the opening of the power up sign like this. Now, it's not exactly the size I want it, so I'm going to resize it, pull it out a little bit. Just like before, we're going to have to get out our eraser and erase some parts of this. These parts of the circle we don't want to see. and come back and get the fill tool, the paint bucket, and our Montlou Blue. How did I get that exact color? I used the eyedropper tool. That gives me the target. I can line it up right in there and get that exact blue. And there's our Montlou logo. Last thing I'm going to do is come back in here and press the Merge Layers feature. Now it's all together on one layer, and if I wanted to, I could press Free Transform and grab it, move it around, reposition it, resize it, now, just like last week, it's really important that we become comfortable working with text. Done moving that layer around. I'm going to add a new layer for my text. My text is going to be Montlou. Let me pick a nice dark blue for my word, Montlou. Again, I can transform it. I can move it around. Leave it in this position. I'm going to add in a another word here. I'm going to be done with this. I'm going to put my next word on a separate layer. So again, press plus, get a new layer to work on, come back in. Text gives me the same thing I wrote last. I'm going to press shift A Academy of is not capitalized shift to capitalize the T in technology and I'm going to change my font to Futura there we go I like that font now I can grab it free transform move it around I'm done with that I want it to be straight. There we go. Done with that. Now I have these on three separate layers. Here's something else I could do. I can now go back and forth between them. I can go back to my layer with Montlou, transform it, and move that word around. Because sometimes it's hard to know exactly where you want that word until after you get done. I'm